itself. But there's a joy in working for love, realizing for whom we are working. Family. Yes, in my case, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, a single people as well, can be working, knowing they're going to benefit others from it. Loved ones and neighbors near and far. And ultimately, God himself working for love. There's a wonderful story of a Jewish rabbi walking in a town late at night. And you know how this happens. Sometimes you're walking late at night and you're walking down a street and there's another person walking at about the same speed and they're kind of beside you. And uh, the rabbi turned to this man and he said, Who are you? He said, I am the night watchman. Security guard, you could say. The night watchman. After a while longer, the night watchman turned to the rabbi and said, Who are you? He said, I'm a Jewish rabbi. A little farther along, the rabbi said to the watchman, Who do you work for? And the watchman said, I work for the village council. A little farther along, the night watchman asked the rabbi, Oh boy, who do you work for? Every pastor, boy, that's a hard question to answer. But it's hard for the rest of us. Who do you work for? And the rabbi said with great discernment, I'm not always sure, but I'll tell you this. Tell me your present salary. I will double it. And you just stay with me and keep asking me, who do you work for? Because Paul says to the Colossians, it's the Lord Christ you're serving. The joy of working for love. 